Hello everyone, it's your girl Cassandra Olivia and I'm back with another quick video. As always, hit that subscribe button and yeah, we're going to get straight to the video. So today I have a client, Um, she has like 4A, 4B, 4C, whatever texture type of hair and I'm just going in and going to do a silk press and a trim on her today. Um, her mom is actually one of my OG clients so she drops her off right before Thanksgiving to get her hair pressed. So I'm actually just now getting around to editing this. But it has been a super crazy week. Kids have been out of school. Hubby's been away doing drill. I've been busy at work, so I apologize for the delay. But here we are. So I'm parting her hair, and I'm going to use my Paul Mitchell brush and just detangle her hair. I like to start at the ends and work my way up to the roots. And as it dries, I will use a spray bottle to wet it. But right now, her hair is pretty saturated because I just took her from under the wash bowl, so she's good to go. So I'm just showing you guys a slower version of me detangling the hair. I know a lot of these videos are really quick, but I'm a short and simple type of girl. I like when people's videos get straight to the point, so I tend to do my videos like that. So here I am just detangling her, and I use the end of my comb like a wide tooth comb. Um, sometimes I'll use the um, rat tail end of it, and I'll just use that to section the hair off, and then I'll finger detangle with my fingers. So here I am just going in with my Rust Speed Free Blow Dryer, and I'm just blowing her out. And of course, off camera, I already put the heat protectant in her hair because I know somebody gonna come for me. <laughs> but she has argan oil in her hair already. Just a dime size, a little bit smaller than that actually. So now I'm just going in with my round brush to make sure her hair is as straight as possible before I go in with my flat iron. And then we're gonna just press out a few pieces using my Rust CTC flat iron, my OG favorite flat iron, which is linked down below, guys. So now I've already went in to make sure that her hair is completely dry and now I'm just going in with my Influence S3 spray and I'm going to spray this all over her hair before I start pressing it. So now I'm going in with my OG flat iron. This is the Rusty TC iron and I'm just going to start pressing her hair out. I use this on setting 450 and I don't do any more than two passes. So one or two passes are fine, but I don't do any more than that. Okay, so now that she's all pressed out, we are getting ready to go in and trim her hair. I like to put a little bit of Ite Buttershine in the hair before I press it, just to make sure everything is nice and slick. And I'm just going in and just doing a cut, kind of in the shape how her hair is growing and how it needs to be cut. I don't like to do too much when I trim the ends, guys. I just do what's required and what looks good on my client's hair. Nothing more, nothing less, period. And that already looks so much better, guys. So now I'm just gonna go in with my flat iron and I'm just gonna use it to put some feather curls in her hair. These are gonna look a little off, guys, but that's just because I know I'm gonna run my comb through it because she wants a more um, feather look with body, nothing too crazy. She's younger, she don't want too many curls. So <laughs> I'm just going in and I'm just gonna feather the hair. I'm not really trying to sculpt it right now, so some of the feathers are gonna look weird. But like I said, we're gonna run the comb through it, so trust the process. I'm not even on front though. I low-key didn't want to run my comb through this because it did look really cute, but that's not the look my client was going for, so I had to suck it up and just do what the client requested. So now I'm just finishing off her hair with a little bit of Vile Silk Shine On Spray. 
and a little bit of bio soap natural hold and now i'm just running my rake comb through it and here you have it guys this is the end result um this client did not want edge control believe it or not i do have some clients that do not like edge control so we just left her edges as is but otherwise this came out super bomb let me got <laughs> let me guys let me know if you guys like this down below in the comment section i'll see you guys in my next video